Hey guys, today I wanted to share with you my December favorites. It's a little bit late. I know it's like almost halfway into January, but I was on a cruise with Matt. Most of you guys know if you follow me on Facebook and Twitter, I let all of you guys know I was going to be gone for like a week. And we went to the Bahamas. We actually went on Carnival Pride and we had a really great time. So if you guys want to check out our pictures, I do have it on our Facebook page, which I will link down below. But yeah, I wanted to let you guys know Basically, all the products I gravitated towards during that entire vacation and then ones that I've also kept using now that I'm back from my vacation. So, um, I have a lot of makeup stuff. I did get a couple new things for Christmas as gifts. Um, I did buy a few things myself on the cruise ship. They had this really nice uh, shopping center. Um, one of them was sort of like a gift shop and they were selling MAC, Lancome, and a ton of perfumes and stuff like that. So I couldn't help myself and I did get a couple of things. But anyway, so let's just get started with the makeup first. So I did unfortunately end up splurging a little bit on MAC stuff and also I got a couple things from MAC uh, for gifts. So I ended up getting myself the MAC Pro Longwear SPF 10 foundation and I love this stuff so much I totally did not think I would like it. but it turns out that the consistency of it is great for me it's like a full coverage which is what I like and then also it's the perfect color for me it's an NW20 I really do like the pump of this not too much comes out and I can like control it really nicely and the foundation lasts all day I don't even need a primer um, I don't need to touch up it just works great for me and it kind of gives me like a nice glow as well and I'm wearing it today but I did do um, some highlighting over here with an eyeshadow but yeah I really love this foundation and then I also got the Pro Longwear concealer that came with it and I'm so glad that I did not get the concealer in a lighter color because it turns out I got it in NW20 and for some reason it already is lighter than the NW20 foundation so I'm glad I didn't get it in an even lighter color because then I would have looked ghostly white underneath of my eyes so as well the only thing I hate about it is that as you can see it's hasn't exploded it's just the fact that when I push down here on the pump way too much comes out every single time and I try so hard to not like pump it all out but it's so hard not to so I don't want to waste it and I just kind of put it back on there and maybe use it later I don't really know what I was trying to do with that but that's the only thing that sucks about it is that the pump just pumps out way too much so also at MAC I wanted to get a bronzing powder that I could use all over my face that wouldn't um, be too harsh and it would just kind of give me like a nice glow because I'm so pale. <laughs> so I decided to get the bronzing powder by MAC and there was another one I was contemplating between but I'm so incredibly glad I got this one. It's in the color golden and I always wear it now all the time all over my, well not all over my face but I just kind of run it along my cheekbones, my nose, my temples, my chin and then my neck as well. But I used it the entire time on the cruise and it made me look especially in the pictures because if you look on my Facebook page I actually don't look that pale and I'm the same color as I was when I I left so yeah it was this bronzing powder that made me look a whole lot more tan and then as gifts I did get these two here this is the MAC lady blush and this is actually a really beautiful rose colored cream blush I like this especially when I'm having like dry days and my skin just is kind of not peeling but on the verge of peeling it just feels really tight I always like to use a cream blush this is actually a really pretty color it looks like that and it blends in really nicely it's just a natural light pink rose color. It's the MAC Cream Sheen Glass in the color Delight. This is so perfect for like a natural color all over the lips. And it just kind of gives you like a really nice um, sheen. It's not gross and sparkly and chunky at all. It's really, really creamy. So another thing I ended up splurging on while I was on the cruise was from Lancome. It's the Lancome Dual Finish um, versatile powder makeup but it's basically just like a powder foundation type thing it looks like this it comes with a little pad here and that's what the foundation looks like I really did not want to get this because it was kind of expensive I think it was around like $30 I was trying so hard not to get it but I just kept walking into the store and I'm like oh my gosh I really want it I really want it and I kept trying it out every single time I went in there and when I use it it's so cool because it completely gets rid of any shine I purposely put some shine here but right as you put it on top, I mean, there's like no more shine anymore. See, if I, if I was to put it here, 
I mean, it just like gets all the shine away, which I really like. I've been putting it over my foundation and it's kind of been making my foundation last longer, which I like as well. The very last thing that I splurged on when I was on the cruise was a perfume. And actually, Matt bought me an amazing perfume by... Givenchy, I think that's what it's called, Givenchy. He bought me Angers ou Dimon, and I really, really love that perfume. It's amazing, and then for some reason after he bought me that, I've been like addicted to perfumes, and I wanted to get all the ones out there that smell really good to me. So while on the cruise, we went and smelled a bunch of different perfumes, and I ended up finding this one. Unfortunately, it was not in full size, but it's the Chanel Coco Chanel Mademoiselle perfume, and it smells so good like I love it so much I used it the entire time while I was on the cruise and he loved the smell as well but this is actually really cute it twists like this and then you just spray it and it lasts forever that's what I love about perfumes that are higher end is that they last forever and they smell really really good so half lashes they're in the number 301 black and you totally can't see them anymore they're in there I use them a lot and I actually ended up getting a couple more pairs just because I prefer half lashes I don't know, I feel like full lashes just kind of don't look right on me, so I have really been liking the half lashes look. So these ones by Adele, I mean not Adele, <laughs> Ardell, are really, really good. And this is Maybelline's Baby Lips. I don't know if you guys have heard about this. I got this with my friend. We went to um, Target and we found these. And I got it also in a pink color, which I really like. It's really pigmented. This is just like a plain color here, but it's kind of like got the beachy type of taste to it and it's a really good chapstick actually so I've been using that a lot this is actually what I use to apply my bronzer so what I'll do is I'll use my bronzing powder by MAC in the color golden which looks like this and I'll just kind of go like this with the brush and then I'll roll it on my cheeks and wherever else I want it and just kind of ro do like rolling motions and the very last brush that I've found myself using a lot and I actually was quite surprised because at first I was like how am I supposed to use this but this is actually a brush from BH Cosmetics I have a bunch like this they're they're just angled brushes like this and they're really really fluffy they are so great for applying crease color which I used it today I mean it just slides right in there and you can just blend the color out so seamlessly so I've been loving this for using eyeshadows in the crease Alright, and the very last thing I wanted to talk about today was hair stuff. These are the two products I used the most while I was on the cruise. I did not straighten my hair at all the whole entire time. What I ended up doing was letting my hair air dry naturally after I got out of the shower. And then I just used this right here, which is my um, clipless curling wand from Conair. It's the Infinity, which you can get at any drugstore. This thing is so beat up now because I used it so much even before the cruise. But yeah, I actually love this for... Um, curling my hair and I just would take random sections I already have a video on this I'll probably link it below I would just take random sections and go like this hold it for a couple seconds and then just let the hair fall and then I would just kind of use my fingers to like volumize it up a bit and loosen up the curls and I would use directly after that this dry shampoo by Suave and I would just shake it like this and just pick up my hair and just kind of spray it at the roots and rub it in and it always gave me this really nice volumized like textured look something else I wanted to talk about really quickly was Matt and I's New Year's resolution uh, we decided to um, start working out more and eating healthier so that was our New Year's resolution and so far we've been following it really well we are on workout plans they're separate but we go to the gym almost um, about five days a week and I don't know it's just I like the fact that I've changed my lifestyle now. It's so nice because um, I just feel a whole lot healthier. I feel better about myself and I feel so much more positive than I've ever felt before. And the crazy thing is, is that I am so motivated right now. And that's why I wanted to let you guys know about this is because Matt and I have worked out for probably about like three to four years now together and every single time at least for me I'll get really motivated for like a week or two and then I'll just stop and I don't know if you guys have this problem as well but I don't know I just like the motivation wasn't there for me I'm not sure if it's because I was so busy with other things but now that I am really focusing on it I want to focus on my body I want to be healthy I want to eat healthier I want to look better um I just feel like 
I'm like so much happier now. I am on Jamie Eason's Live Fit plan right now and I did her first entire week and I just finished it. It's Sunday now and I literally just finished the entire week of the workout. She gives meal plans, um, advice on what to do, and then uh, she gives workout routines. It's a 12-week program that I'm on and Matt is actually doing Chris Gethin's workout. You can find both of these workouts on bodybuilding.com, but both of us are doing those workouts right now. And so Matt and I always go to the gym at the same time, which is actually really convenient. We do totally different workouts, but we're there at the same time, which is nice because if I ever need a spot, he's, he's always there for me. Um, and then vice versa. <laughs> so... Yeah, last week wasn't that bad. I remember on Monday I did uh, chest and triceps and there was this one workout I was so upset I couldn't do, which was the, I believe it's called the narrow grip push-up, where you push up with your hands kind of like in a triangle and basically you're just really using your triceps to do the actual push-up. I could not even do one. I can do regular push-ups maybe about like 15 to 20 times, but when I did it like this, I couldn't even do one. I was like so disappointed in myself so hopefully by the end of these 12 weeks i'll be able to do a couple more not zero <laughs> um and then on tuesday i did back and biceps i believe and then on wednesday i did legs and i think on thursday that is when matt and i got our supplements in which if you guys aren't familiar with the workout routines on bodybuilding.com jamie eason and chris gethin both rec both recommend a um, supplement pack where it has like protein shakes you can take after every single workout, um, your multivitamins, which I'm taking OptiWoman right now, uh, fish oil, which is actually good for your skin and your hair and your nails and stuff like that. So it came with a whole supplement pack that I ended up buying. So we both got those in the mail. We were opening them. We were so excited. His are totally different than mine though. Matt just got his bodybuilding box in. So if you guys want to join us, that would be so awesome. We could all help motivate each other and keep each other going. I did end up taking before pictures, which were actually kind of upsetting. I don't think I'm ever going to post them anywhere, <laughs> but um, I've been recording everything like my weight and my body fat and stuff like that, what I've been eating every single day, my workouts, the reps I'm getting out, the weight I'm doing, everything like that. I've been recording everything. So hopefully by the end of 12 weeks, um, I can show you guys how far I've come. I just wanted to show you guys this real quick. This is actually a 12-week workout log. It's like a diary type thing that I got from bodybuilding.com uh, for free, actually, when I ordered my supplements. So as you can see right here, that's Jamie Eason, if you guys don't know who she is. And she has the Live Fit program going on. Here, let me see if it's in here. There it is, right there. So it's the Jamie Eason 12-week video trainer. That's what I'm doing right now. And then this here, this is um, this is Chris Gethin, but this is his 12-week daily trainer, which you can find more information about if you go to, um, I don't think it's going to focus, but yeah, um, it's on bodybuilding.com if you just search for Chris Gethin. But yeah, I wanted to show you guys my workout log real quick. So as you can see, it has the uh, body fat and weight log here for every single week, which I've already done my weight and stuff up here for week one. Um, this is an example of what one day would look like. So as you can see, here are the workouts all over here. This is how many reps she's doing, how much weight she's doing. Down here you can write little notes to yourself and then this is your meals. So I started doing my own. I did this one here on Monday. Um, this was on Tuesday. I got Wednesday and then Thursday. And then that's what mine looks like basically. So yeah, I've been writing all my meals down and stuff like that. It's actually a really nice workout book, so you can just keep track of everything. This is a rest day, for example, but I don't know. I've just really been enjoying this because it kind of helps me stay healthy and it helps me keep track with my workouts and my meals and stuff like that. So I guess every single week I'm just going to update you guys and let you know uh, how everything's going for me with this healthy lifestyle that we're now trying to do. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will keep you guys updated and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.